How to Drink Tea to Lose Weight Numerous scientific studies have shown that tea drinkers, specifically green tea drinkers, lose weight faster than those who don't. Time to stow away the gym bag and get your kettle on. Here's the skinny on getting skinny with tea. Part 1, Overview of How Tea Helps Shed Weight 1. Choose a tea based on its effectiveness and your personal preferences. It is best to have a tea you enjoy drinking, but you should know that certain teas are considered more effective for weight loss than others. Most effective, green, white, or oolong moderately effective, black less effective, decaf or herbal harmful in excess, sweet tea, diet tea. 2. Drink tea every single day, making it a daily habit. Find ways to create a healthy tea drinking habit. This is easiest if you make tea time a regular thing. Drink a cup in the morning and one in the afternoon, then have a decaf or herbal tea with bed, as they are still somewhat effective without caffeine. Substitute tea for morning coffee. Brew tea in advance and chill it for iced tea on hot days. 3. Do not add anything to your tea. Cream and sugar will destroy any weight loss benefits earned by the tea. You need to get used to drinking your tea plain, without adornment. 4. Drink tea to fight food cravings. Tea is a great way to help regulate your metabolism. But for the best results, start using tea whenever you feel a craving for something sweet or unhealthy. Often a warm cup of tea will be enough to settle your stomach and avoid temptation. Part 2, Choosing Teas and Supplies 1. Find a tea you enjoy. While many studies focus on green tea, it's important to find a tea, green or otherwise, that you enjoy drinking. Some green teas are quite strong in flavor and can be unpleasant if you're not used to the taste. Others are truly delightful even for a beginner in green tea drinking. Green and white teas, lightly processed tea leaves, available in many varieties and flavors. Visit our guide for detailed info. Black tea, these leaves undergo heavy processing, which transforms helpful chemicals, the flavins and thirubigans, into more complex forms. They're still there but may be less effective. Oolong, specially processed tea which may increase your metabolism even more than green tea. Decaffeinated, any of the above varieties, with some of the caffeine removed. Caffeine is beneficial for weight loss, but these still contain other helpful substances. Herbal tea, any brew made from a plant other than the traditional tea plant. Usually less effective but still a good option when replacing high-calorie drinks. 2. Be careful with diet teas. While diet tea tastes similar to many black or herbal teas, diet teas may use extra caution if the tea contains senna, aloe, agarwood, rhubarb root, buckthorn, or castor oil. Contain a laxative element, so you should drink these teas in moderation. Experts warn against drinking too many cups of diet tea because you could develop vomiting, nausea, persistent diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and even fainting and dehydration. The concept of diet tea is sort of false advertising. Any unsweetened, natural tea can promote weight loss. Certain teas may act as a laxative or fat blocker and that's why they're marketed as such. However, Laxatives just clean out your colon, you've already consumed the calories. You may lose a little bit of water weight initially, but the second you drink something, it'll come back. One cup is enough. Seriously. You'll regret drinking more. 3. Read your ingredient labels. There are so many types of teas on the market it's hard to know where to start. A good place to start is by reading the ingredient list on the back label. If it has added sugar or sweeteners, put it back on the shelf. 
This doesn't mean you have to avoid flavored green teas. True, some have added sugar, but others don't. And if you can stick to all natural ingredients, all the better for you and your waistline. 4. Make tea brewing and drinking easy. One hurdle some people face is that brewing tea, while not an incredibly arduous process, may not be as easy as they'd like it to be. While you can brew a quick cup of tea in the microwave, pour water into a ceramic cup and heat for two minutes until boiling, then add your tea bag, you can make the process even easier. Purchase an electric tea kettle. Electric tea kettles are readily available at many bath and kitchen stores, ranging in price and are extremely easy to use. All you have to do is fill it with water and push a button or lever to bring it to a boil. You can brew tea by the cup or add several tea bags to the entire pot once the water has boiled. Keep a thermos as well for the additional boiled water. Fill with water, add the green tea and keep by the kettle or your desk for ease of pouring a tea when needed. Buy an iced tea maker. During warmer months, Drinking hot tea may not sound like fun, however, you can still consume just as much tea by using an iced tea maker. Like the electric tea kettle, simply fill the machine with water, add ice, according to the manufacturer's directions, and tea bags. Turn it on and begin drinking fresh iced tea in a matter of minutes. Brew iced tea the night before for quick access during the day. If you don't have a few minutes to brew your iced tea that day, make it at night and keep a pitcher of tea in your refrigerator. Instead of bringing a few sodas to work, consider filling a large thermos with iced tea and keep it on hand throughout the day. Part 3. Developing a Daily Routine 1. Create Good Tea Drinking Habits In order to reap the benefits of tea, You'll have to start drinking it every day. Do not add cream, milk, or sugar to your tea when trying to lose weight. As often as possible, and plain. If it's not easy, tasty, and convenient, you won't stick to it. How can you enable yourself to drink it more? Having tea supplies is the easiest way to get started. If you spend 8 hours a day at the office, it's a good idea to stock up there, too, along with having your favorite mug, or thermos, and microwave or kettle access. Ask any Brit, tea is a drink made for company. If brewing an entire pot seems worthless to you, get others in on your action. At the workplace, brew a pot for your co-workers, too. Get the family, roommates in on the routine of a late night cup. When it's a social activity, you'll be more likely to engage in it. 2. Substitute tea for morning coffee. Start your day with a fresh cup of tea instead of your usual joe. Tea drinkers can also save calories, especially when ordering at a coffee house. Some coffee house drinks contain hundreds of calories whereas with tea, what you see is what you get. Like mentioned above. It's important that you drink your tea straight. The addition of milk neutralizes the fat stomping ability of tea, the flavonoids. What's more, research says skim milk is the worst. Crazy, huh? This research is on cow's milk. If you'd like to try soy or almond, do so, but keep in mind that the same effect may or may not be had. 3. Ask for iced tea unsweetened, instead of soda for lunch and dinner. Sugary or even diet sodas have been known to actually have the opposite effect on weight loss. The sodium in diet soda can make you retain water, so opt for the smart alternative dash sugar-free iced tea. Iced tea is also ideal because if you're looking for a little caffeinated pick-me-up during the afternoon, iced, or hot. Tea will give you the same effect without the sugar in regular soda or the sodium in diet.
Much of the power behind drinking tea to lose weight is because you won't be consuming anything else instead. Tea is low in calories, if you do it right, and will keep you from downing other, higher calorie things. It's the same concept as losing weight by drinking water.